What's up guys? Welcome back to another video with the Math Maker. My name is Jordan and today we'll be talking about liquid measurements. Liquid measurements is how you can measure something in liquid. Whenever you go get a soda or water or juice at the store, you notice it will say something like it is one gallon of juice or a two quarters of juice. Though that shows you how much juice, soda, water, whatever you get, how much it is. So then you can tell if you get 30 gallons of milk, uh, one gallon of milk, or um, 20 or two ounces of, not, no, or two quarts of milk. So you can be able to tell how much of something you'll get because if you need exactly 30 gallons of um, soda, not 30 gallons, if you need exactly um, three gallons of soda for a party, you want to make sure you get the thing that has the most amount of gallons. So you don't want to be trying to find out, oh, how much is a gallon? Or how much of this am I going to need? But you already know that you that there's a section that has gallons of that type of soda. Let's say you're trying to get three gallons of Coke, Coca-Cola or Pepsi. You can know that there's a certain section in the store that sells that, and then you can look for the ones that show gallons. So here's just a small table of what you will have as, as a few measurements of liquid. First thing you're going to start out with is fluid ounces. Fluid ounces. Um, that's the first thing you start out, and the reason it has fluid in the in the beginning of it because in measurements of when you in different measurements you have different things for like measurement of weight. When you have measurements of weight, you do different things. So for weight. This is kind of what would happen. For weight, you would have regular ounces. You you wouldn't have fluid ounces because it's weight. It's not liquid. So, in, we in weight, you would have ounces. But since you are um, dealing with liquid, now you would have fluid ounces. Now, after the fluid ounces, you would have cups. And like... And this video is going to be for a few grades younger, not like the high, high grades. This would be like for 5th grade, maybe 6th grade, and 4th grade. Unless they change the way um, certain things, what teachers might do, then this is how, um, this is the type of um, way it goes. So you would need 8 fluid ounces to make 1 cup. One cup is very common for whenever you are baking something. Whenever you're baking, you're going to hear that term a lot. I'm going to need one cup of flour or one cup of sugar. So one cup is a very common term, especially in baking. So for every eight fluid ounces, you will have one cup. So then we're going to just make a little chart of fluid ounces. So eight... So then, like I said, for every single fluid ounce, you always have you always have one cup after that. So if you have sixteen fluid ounces, you will have two cups. Three. Um, if you have twenty-four fluid ounces, that'll be three cups. It just counts on how many fluid ounces you have. If you have, let's say, you have like eighteen fluid ounces, that'd be, um. Then you would have two and a half of a cup. So then for every eight, eight fluid ounces, F, L. I'm going to personally just abbreviate it to, um, for today's fluid ounces. Um, so that's how you would abbreviate fluid ounces, F, L, O, V. Fluid, F, L, ounces. Ounces kind of sounds like it has a Z, so that's why they have a Z. So, fluid ounces 8 is equal to 1 cup. 
So now after the cup, you're going to have something called pints. Now you also might use this when you're baking or cooking. You need eight pints of sugar. Or you need eight pints of uh, milk. Like I said, most of the time this is for uh, for anything what? Because this is liquid measurement. So I need eight pints of milk. So you take two cups. Two cups to make one pint. And it's going to kind of just keep on going up like this. So you need two cups for one pint. So then if you want to see how many fluid ounces it takes to make one pint, since it takes eight fluid ounces to make one cup, and it takes two um, two cups to make one pint. What is two cups? So, so, if one cup is eight ounces, two cups is sixteen ounces. So it would take sixteen fluid ounces to get one whole pint. So now we're gonna continue. Uh, um, we're going to do our thing. So now you need um to go figure out what type of pint. So then, for every one pint. You're going to have, for every two pints, I mean, you're going to have one quart equals one quart. So, if you have two pints, you have one quart. It's going to keep on going up like this. So, for every two cup, two cups, one pint. Two pints, one quart. I need one quart of water. It just depends on what you're using. And like I said, you're going to use this for, like, cooking or baking. If you ever do choose to do that. Um, so, it would be, you would need to use your liquid measurements and measurements in general for a lot of things. To see how much, um, to see how things would go. So then, if we know that that is eight, um, eight fluid ounces is one cup. One, two cups is one pint. So let's see, we want to figure out fluid ounces because this is a general question that um, a few people just took questions. Teacher might tell, ask you, how many fluid ounces is in, let's say, a quart? So then you're going to think a little bit of time to think, but here's something you can do. We already know that you need to get one pint, you're going to need 16 ounces. So if you have to double... Um, the pints to get a quart, then double the amount, then double the amount of ounces. So sixteen plus sixteen is thirty-two. So that's how you can tell what um what how much so a measurement might be from an ounce. Now let's say we're trying to figure out the amount of cups to a quart. So if we know that you need two cups for one pint. Then you need four cups for a quart. So because if since you have to double the amount of pints, you would have to quadruple or multiply times four the amount of cups. Because you need two times the amount of cups to get one pint. So after that, now we can, now a lot of people don't really um deal with this, but let's say you have to go to Wawa. Well, you go to Wawa, you don't want something big as a gallon, but you don't want anything as small as a quart. So then you would go, um, say you would want a half of a gallon. So then half a gallon would be equal, of course, two quarts. But I'm not going to write that down because a lot of teachers don't talk about it. I'm actually going to talk about that in my next video. So then you have two pints, which equals one quart. So then, since one quart, um, two pints equals one quart, two quarts equals one half of a gallon. So it's just going to keep on going like that. So you can see how I write the fluid ounces. And then, to get a gallon, since, in, since you need two quarts to get a half of a gallon, to get the whole gallon, you're going to need four quarts. And that's how you can get one whole gallon. I'm going to finish up there because I'm just going to basically put the things. So, four quarts. Two. 
to one gallon. I'm just gonna put G A L. But if you kind of think you know, think of it in a serious way, we all know it's quarts. Quarts means four. So four quarters. So if it's four quarters, if you think of it like in a small fraction type of way, then of course it's gonna be complete to a gallon because four out of four is gonna equal the same amount because they both are four. I hope you guys learned something today. Please do not forget to subscribe. If this is when you first time watching my videos, also like. Let's say your goal is like ten to that. For anybody who got to see this, um, tap the notification bell. If this is one of your first time watching any of my videos, comment down below if you have any questions or if you want me to do any type of math video. Also, check out my Master Maker channel. It's kind of hard to find. It has a lightning bolt, a blue lightning bolt. Oh, and please not. Also, practice these skills because it's also something you're going to want to know as you get older. Thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day.